Operation Hammer were successful. Se seizure of hundreds of tons of cocaine, millions of dollars in black market, market items. In 2011, the Southern Sudan, which is also known as 13 countries, uh, assisted other agencies in receiving 119 tons of cocaine, worth an estimated $2.35 billion in Central America. Also seized were $21 million in cash and $16 million in black market items that were desired for, de destined for money laundering by criminal groups, according to Southern Command. My second contention is in Colombia. In, as a result of Plan Colombia, coca, opium, heroin production are declining. According to SEAL in 2012, Colombia's success in reducing its cultivation of coca and production of cocaine with significant U.S. support merits a close look. The plan Colombia was a strategy forged by Colombians in collaboration with U.S. advisors, advisors to end Colombia's decade long arm and combat, combat, combat drug trafficking and promote economic development. It also aimed to reduce cultivation, processing, and distribution of illicit drugs by 50% over six years. A goal not meant for coca and cocaine, but meant for opium and heroin, a newer, smaller, less entrenched component of the Colombian drug trade. My third contention is on coca lead prices. Low coca lead prices diminish coca plants. According to Rocket, Ronkin, and Transitional Institute in 2005. Market theory posits a direct causal relationship between the price of coca leaf and the amount of coca plant. As such, it is held that when prices are high, more coca will be planted, and when it is low, the planting of coca will diminish. The price of coca has therefore has been used as an indicator of success of the average denial strategy. The underlying assumption is that the disruption in the air routes will result in difficulties in transporting coca leaf and CBP, thus creating a surplus in producer countries, causing the prices to drop. My fourth intention is, is on Mexico. The Merida Initiative has been a success and it increased arrests and drug seizures while decreasing the availability of cocaine and security. According to Seal, so Sealed in January 14, 2013, the, the State Department has attributed increased arrests and certain drug seizures to the success of the Merida Initiative. Also, Merida Initiative strengthened the police forces in Mexico. According to the Corona in 2012, the Mexican Police Task Force is an essentially always has been underpaid and overworked. The combination of a heavy and dangerous workload, as well as the lack of appropriate compensation, has created fertile ground for bribery, which had surfaced by way of the Mordida, which translates to the small bite. The Mordida is a cultural implant of the police force in Mexico. And for this reason, President Calderon had to initially use the Mexican army to impart justice on the drug cartel. However, it appears that 